All right, and that's then already it for today's lecture. I have a bunch of more resources here. So this is for Psychopy, this is for experiment. Um, make sure to look at the experiment stash if you want to use experiment, um, where it's simply many examples of possible experiments, how you can and how you can do them with experiment. And if you want to learn more about this, I think this is the best way. Look at other people's code, understand what they did there, and use your knowledge accordingly for your own stuff. All right. And then I also have an appendix this time where I write about shuffling because shuffling your conditions, as I hinted at earlier, is harder than it seems at first. So if we are shuffling the default way, we have O of infinity as theoretical one time. So it may not to lead us to any result at all. And the more restrict restrictions you have, the harder it gets. So if you have many restrictions on shuffling, as for example, um, I never want to have two same conditions in a row or I want to have the distribution of condition A and condition B in the first half of the experiment should be roughly the same as the distribution in the second half of the experiment. So I don't want in the first half only conditions A and the second half only conditions B um, and so on so on. There are a lot of conditions you may want to have when shuffling and because this is harder than it seems I just showed you a better approach here, for example, you can do so using divide and conquer. All right. And then I also didn't talk about serial triggers because I don't have an, an EEG device at hand, um, but experiment, for example, can do so by sending triggers at the right time, as I'm showing here using xp.serial port. All right. That's it for this lecture. Goodbye.